The really exciting part is that whatever pattern you choose to use, the process will always be the same. Make sure the one and two are at the top, and then take the top right and move it straight down to the bottom right. Then move to the bottom left and bring it right up to the top left. Rotate your wheel counterclockwise until the next strings are at the top. Take the top right, move it down to the bottom right. The bottom left, move it up to the top left. Rotate counterclockwise and repeat. Top right to bottom right, bottom left to top left. Now if, you, if your string gets a little loose, that's okay. Just twist the bobbin and it will tighten up again. Rotate counterclockwise, top right to bottom right, bottom left to top left. Along the way, if you need to take a break, I like to use an extra bobbin to mark my spot so I know where to start the next time. So right when you come back, you'll know to start at the top right. While you're making your bracelet, you can check your progress by lifting up the top of the wheel and looking underneath. And when it gets long enough to fit around your wrist, you can just open up the tray, pull your bracelet up through the middle, and dump your bobbins right back into the carrying case. When you're ready to finish your bracelet, tie a knot at the end, make sure to pull it nice and tight, and then if you want to add beads, it helps to cut your strings a little bit shorter, leaving a few inch inches on the end, and then you can twist the end. and just pull through the string. You can add however many beads you want or whatever colors and then just add another knot. You can cut your string shorter if you want, but then your bead will fit into the knot you made in the beginning and you're finished.